Hello, I'm Dr. Abhishek De. I'm consultant dermatologist of Wisdom Skin Care Clinic. I'm also the associate editor of Indian Journal of Dermatology. Today, we're going to talk about different types of eczemas. Now, as we know that eczema can be really variety of types, it can uh, affect early in the childhood. We uh, call it uh, atopic eczema. This is something very genetic. When the patient has somebody in the family has sensitive skin or sensitive nasal mucosa, so people have this dry, very sensitive skin. People can develop very early in their lives. So atopic eczema can be very bad to patients' uh, life, and the babies really suffer. Then there eczema can be something we call seborrheic dermatitis. Some people think it's a dandruff-likely situation, but it can be actually a type of eczema. You need a good dermatologist to pick that up. Then eczema can be something we call contact dermatitis. Like uh, you have certain kind of works uh, or some kind of exposure to chemicals that can lead to eczema. This kind of eczema happens more on your hands and feet, but can happen other part of the uh, body also. So we call it contact dermatitis. Then eczema can be something called numular dermatitis, which is like discoid kind of uh, circular kind of lesions, which happens in your uh, uh, feet and legs. Those can be really itchy, especially that because very itchy in the winter so eczema have lot of different kind of presentation some people comes with vesicular like you know uh, blister like lesion in your palms and soles those can be uh, a form of eczema and some people come really bad eczema which happens all over their bodies and this can be because of some kind of pollens or occupational exposure so we need to understand that eczema is not a single kind of disease it can have different presentation and different causes some of the causes can be very internal that you are born with a kind of genetics which are leading to this and some can be external now eczema can be really severe in babies and this is something we need to emphasize one condition i have already mentioned that is called atopic dermatitis now atopic dermatitis lot of people suffer from atopic dermatitis as i as 10 to 30 percent of the children suffer from atopic dermatitis of different severity and for uh, adult at least one to three percent of the adult population also suffers from atopic dermatitis this particular disease can run in families and also have certain other problems like people can have breathing difficulty like asthma people can have allergic rhinitis which is like recurrent sneezing and catching uh, cold and cough having sinusitis problems so eczema may not be just limited to your skin it can also affect your other organs and we need to be very careful about this problem and start realizing that again uh, in very early and going to a dermatologist is absolutely mandatory hope this video has helped you if you want to know further if you have to contact us please click the link below